Hey what's up everyone, it's Frankie with Meekspace.com. Today I wanted to show you how to use your iPad or your iPhone and the Ajax Explorer application to get files from Meekspace.com. So what you're looking at here is uh, the, uh, the App Store and I've gone and done a search for Ajax Explorer and this is the app that you need to have in order to connect to uh, Meekspace's FTP. So it's called Ajax Explorer. So you need to find it, install it. Also another app that is going to be required if you want to use the entire WatchR libraries is called iSilo. So you'll need to do a search for it and um, install it. iSilo is, uh, I'm just going to show you what the page looks like. So it's going to, you know, that's the icon. It's going to be from DC and Company. It's called iSilo. And this is a must-have app if you want to read the entire WatchR libraries uh, on your device. So those are the two apps you'll need to have. So once you have those, you'll go into the the uh, Ajax Explorer that we had you download. And I'm just going to go through the setup process completely with you guys. And uh, I'm just going to delete my connection here and just start from scratch. So when you first open Ajax Explorer, this is what you have. is just a blank screen with uh, a plus sign in the corner. So you open up the plus sign. And in the label, you're going to want the top field that says server label. You're going to want to put my files. And then under the host name, you'll do http colon slash slash www dot meek space dot com slash web ftp so that's www.meekspace.com slash web ftp under the username it'll be my files all lowercase and the password you'll get from meekspace.com now that changes once in a while so you'll need to make sure you got the right password now once you have that all filled out like I have, you'll hit the save button. Then you'll notice uh, you have a My Files under your remote servers. So if you go to that, it'll take just a second and you should see your Theocratic folder. So you go into Theocratic and then you'll have your iSilo and your PDF folder. Now to get the Watch Our Libraries working, you need to go into iSilo and then you need to go into your your language and then you'll go to Watchtower Library and you'll need to download all four of these files now how you download a file is you just hold your finger on the file and you'll get a box and you want to choose open with and then in this bottom corner down here it'll say downloading when it's done downloading you'll get a choice to open it now I'm just going to do a small file instead of one of these larger ones but to get the Watchtower Library working, you've got to do all four of these files. So we're going to go back out of here, and I'm just going to go into something that maybe is a little bit smaller. So you can see the exact process of how it actually works. So we'll go into uh, the Bible Teach. So we're going to, remember, hold the finger on the button, choose Open With. Down here you see it says Downloading. Now, when it's done downloading, you get this option box. You'll choose the, the, the file type that you want. Now, I'm using, I'm trying to open up an iSilo file, so I need to use iSilo. But if you were trying to open up a PDF or something, you'll have other choices in here, and you have to choose your PDF viewer. Remember, iSilo doesn't read PDFs. It just reads PDB files. So I'm going to choose iSilo, and it should open that file up in your syst in your system now if it doesn't and you get this error message don't worry about that it 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 just means it couldn't open that file right up it put it in here but it couldn't just open it right up and so I'm gonna scroll down here and there's the Bible teach book that we just tried to um, to open up and so I'm gonna open it up and there there's the file so really that's all there is to using uh, this system to get your files. If you double click your little hot button you can go back to uh, Ajax Explorer where we were at and then you can go back to the main directory where all the files are at and you can get in and out of the different files that you need. 
So that's a quick tutorial on how to use Ajax Explorer on your iPad or Apple device. I hope this tutorial helped.